in the previous videos we have seen or we have discussed about different kinds of git objects that are blob tree commit and annotated tags so in this particular video we'll discuss a bit more about blobs so we'll see how exactly a blob is created and how exactly we can see this particular object so these are the command that will be used for creating a blob object so we'll be using git hash object to create a blob object and we'll be using git cat file to view the blob object content so you can see there is a sample command written over here that is echo space content then there is a pipe symbol and then we have the command called git hash object then we have space hyphen hyphen stdin and then there is space hyphen w so i'll just tell you how why exactly we're using all these commands and what exactly it all means so let me open my terminal so i'm at my terminal and uh, let's go to my folder where we have already initialized a new git repository so i'll go to my desktop where the file is and the file name is i believe git repo so let me check the content of the file that is ls space hyphen la so you can see it's all empty there's nothing there and there's only uh, and so there are all hidden files over here if, you, if i do ls i cannot see anything because everything is hidden so if i go uh, inside my git file dot git folder i i mean to say that will give you some idea about what kind of folder structure we have so now we'll do one thing we'll create one um git object that is blob so i'll just come out of this oh i will just uh, oh sorry i'm outside okay i'll again quickly navigate to my my folder that is git repo okay and uh, i'll do one thing i'll start by creating a new git object that i have set by using git hash uh, object command so first i will type echo as shown over here in the sample that is this and i will give some text so let's say i want to type uh, type a text like uh, um my name is gagan provide a pipe symbol and i'll type git space hash hyphen object and i will type hyphen st stdin space hyphen w so what i'm doing here is like i'm using the echo command that is this command this will be used just to display the content nothing uh, extraordinary over here and then i'm providing a pipe symbol and i'm typing git hash object so what i'm doing here is like i'm just saying like i want to pass the output of this particular uh, this particular command to this particular object and i'm typing stdin which means just use the standard input format so whatever is the output of this particular um, execution of the command it will be provided as an input to this particular command and w will write or create a new object so once i do this so you can see a string is created of alphanumeric number so this string is nothing but it is called a hash so we'll discuss about hash in the next or upcoming videos so no need to worry about that as of now just stay calm and stay focused on what i'm teaching you as of now so now we can see like a new object has been created if i say so how we can check this object type so i can do one thing is like i can just quickly go to my dot git folder so let me open my uh, directory so this is the folder that i was working in that is git repo so you can see the name so this is git repo and same thing we are in that is git repo over here so if i go into git folder dot git folder so you can see there is a folder called uh, objects that is over here and now previously if you have seen my previous videos there was only two package or two folders present that is pack and info but now there is one more folder created that is 13 this was not there previously and if i extend this then you can see there is one file present over here which has some name given over here that is alpha numeric number again so this is object that that has been created in git ecosystem so now one thing to notice here is like the hash that is present here if you see this hash this hash is nothing but the name of the folder structure so if i go back again here you can see the folder name is 13 and the file name is 53 and it ends with 32b if you see here the first two characters over here is 13 then it is 53d and the last is 32b which is similar to here so what does that mean or what i'm trying to tell you is like whatever the hash comes up for a new object or any object is equivalent to uh, the folder structure over here so if you combine this 13 plus 
um, combine the text that is 13 and the text of this particular file that will be equivalent to your hash there's nothing but I have written over here I believe this is making easier or I make I'm able to explain uh, clearly so now we have seen how to create an object a blob object in uh, git now what if you want to see whether this is the correct object we are pointing to or not so for that we have a command called git cat file so I'll quickly type git cat file if I hit enter then it will say like you can see some details are there like usage of this particular file is like this so now there are three files there are three commands that we can use to get it more prettier so what I will type is I'll type git cat file and I will say hyphen p p is used for content so if you see over here the first one git cat file hyphen p and space the hash and I have to give the hash of the particular object because we are checking details of the particular object that is the blob object I will type and I will hit enter so it says my name is Gagan so this is what we have created over here if you can see my name is Gagan is the content of the particular file that we have created so this will show the content of the file that you have created and yes it is showing and this is the correct um, file that we are seeing here with the command that is git cat file same we can do it with git cat file hyphen t so git cat file hyphen t is used for type of object so if I hit enter this you can see it's a blob so it's showing detail on the particular type of object that is there so this is a blob and that's we have been seeing in this particular video so that justifies that and the last one that uh, we can see here is with hyphen s this is for the size so you can see the size of the particular content in the file is 17 so the content of the file is 17 so it for sure displays you the detail so that's one thing that we are discussing over here and uh, that's it for this particular video so in this video we have seen how to create a blob object how to see uh, the hash of the particular object and uh, the details on the hash will be covered in the upcoming videos and then we have seen how to verify the content of the particular git object that has been created by using the hash that we got it when we created the object and also we have seen the type of the object and as well as the size of the object so that's it thanks a lot for watching this video do like subscribe my channel thank you bye bye